the Tobin Bridge for Pam. I have friends who are afraid of crossing bridges. It panics them to drive with the world spreading out on either side of them. I know this fear. Like so many of my own, it is linked to the worst of our imagination. I have a recurring dream about driving on a suspended bridge, arched with a deck over the ocean. The more I drive in the dream, the steeper it gets until my car is almost upside down. And always, just before it flips, I wake. I'm reminded of that dream today, crossing the Sagamo to Cape Cod, still numb from the image back home, our friend Pam standing against the dark and stepping into nothingness. After we heard, we lay in bed remembering, as if she'd been gone for years, the trip we took to Ireland, her loaded down with shopping bags and Glen Gareff, the kind way she had with our kids, her love affair with the Red Sox. My wife helped her so often over the years, and I remember getting exasperated once when I was told of another episode not because I wasn't sympathetic, but because I was frightened. I remember thinking, that could be me. We're all so close to it, aren't we? Clinging to that tenuous support, that bridge to sanity that keeps us suspended over what could be. This is how I see it. She is flying, not falling. The lights of downtown Boston are reflecting in the soft snowfall. Her eyes are closed. The hum of the traffic has faded. Her arms, like wings, lift her over the harbor. And in that moment, she knows much more than we know.